Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to show you how to synchronize the Cozy app to Alexa app. So for those of you who don't know, Cozy is like a family management app where you can put a different shopping lists for different people, to-do lists for different people in your family. Uh, they, uh, uh, everyone shares the same calendar, but then you can put different members of the on the calendar as well. Um, and then I think it's a really good app uh, to manage every member of your family, especially if you have big families in there. And then also I just bought this uh, uh, Amazon Echo Show 15, uh, which is the biggest uh, Echo display Amazon ever made. And uh, if you want to know more about this device, please check out my other video showing you a full review. Uh, now, my intention of this uh, this device is I'm planning to use it as a uh, family dashboard or family bulletin board to show calendar, to-do list, and uh, shopping list or everything. So since I already use Cozy to manage uh, my family, it would be nice to synchronize to this, this account together. So what you are showing in here will be whatever you have in the Cozy. And then, uh, so in this video, I want to show you how to synchronize because it's not as straightforward as, as I thought before, and hopefully I can provide you some help. All right, so next I'm just going to show you on my phone to how show you how to do it. All right, so there are actually three features in Cozy. Uh, I'm using there is to-do list, shopping list, and a calendar. So first I'll show you how to synchronize to-do list and shopping list. And these are actually pretty straightforward. You can check on either Cozy's website or Amazon app site and see how to do it. So the way you do it is first you have to add a skill. So in your Alexa app, uh, go to go to like this bars in here and then click skills. And then here, uh, it will be showing like all of your um, skills. Let's see. So it will be showing you all your skills. I already added, but then if you don't have it, make sure you search it and you add it in there. And then probably you have to click like this enable or something and then click setting. And then in the setting, it will link uh, it probably needs to type in like your account name, password of Cozy so that you can link uh, Cozy to uh, Alexa in here. And then you have, once you have it set it up, and then you can go to actually your Cozy app. And then you will notice that under the shopping list, there, um, uh, you, you have two more lists in here. So one is called Alexa shopping list, another is called Alexa to do list in there. So whatever you want to show on the Alexa shopping um, like a app or shopping list on the Echo display, make sure you add it in here. Uh, like if you add it on grocery or any other place, it's not going to show. And the same thing with to do. If you want the to do list to show um, under the to do list in Alexa, make sure you add it in here. For example, I add something like subscribe to my channel. If you like my video, please. Um, so you, you, if you, any other list, say you put under the to-do list, uh, it will not show on Alexa. You got to make sure you put it in here. So um, it's probably not ideal because the good thing about Cozy is you can create different lists under different people's name. But then this one you have restriction restriction of only two lists now. Uh, but then the advantage is these two will be shown on the Echo display. Uh, now uh, I want to show you. I want to explain to you how to synchronize the Cozy Calendar to Alexa, uh, which is actually not straightforward because if you check in um, in your Cozy help they are not actually compatible to Alexa. You have to do some tricks in there. So what I did is basically I will first synchronize my Cozy calendar into a Google calendar. And then I synchronize a Google calendar into Alexa calendar. So to do that, you will have to do it on computer. 
uh, you are not able to do it on the phone actually. So now I'm just gonna show it on my computer. So again, you're gonna have to use a computer, log into the Cozy uh, website and log into your account. And then in your account, go to, uh, go to settings and go to calendars. And under here, once you are in calendars and uh, look at, there are several tabs on the top, click sharing. This is how you share your Cozy calendar to any other calendar system. And then notice, again, notice that they are compatible to Google, Apple, Microsoft, not Alexa. This is why you have to do some tricks in there. So now uh, in here, you have to set up like whose calendar you want to share. So remember, if you want to, unless you only want to show a specific, a specific person's calendar, Alexa, say if you only want to show your calendar, your like one person's calendar, Alexa, you show it like here. Um, if you want to show your entire family's calendar, and make sure you share all. And then after you share all, there is actually no need to share individual because I actually made that mistake. I shared all and I also shared the individual members of my family in there. And then uh, everything becomes doubled in my Alexa calendar actually. So make sure you only share all. Um, and then here, you will actually see a um, like view URL button in here. So if you click share, um, there there will be a you clear you view URL. Then make sure you copy. You click it. You see L, uh, URL and then make sure you copy it. And then once you because I I don't want to click it because then everyone on the internet can see our <laughs> see our calendar. So make sure you click it and then you copy the URL and then. Um, go to your Google Calendar. Now, I don't recommend you to use your current Gmail account uh, for anything because then you're going to pretty much import every member of your family's calendar into your Gmail account. So I would recommend just to create a separate spare account for this activity. And then once you have that Google account, and then on the left, you see one tab in here says other calendar. So, so click the plus sign and then click from URL. And then you copy that URL you just copied from the cozy and then you say add calendar. And then this is how you first synchronize your cozy calendar to your Google calendar. And then everything from Cozy to Google will be synchronized. Now, my experience is this synchronization does not happen immediately. Uh, I don't know how often this you, you, they synchronize. My experience is uh, it will happen within 24 hours, but then definitely longer than a couple of hours. Uh, so I don't know their schedule. So then this is down here. Um, now, second is uh, you got to synchronize your Google Calendar into Alexa Calendar now. Now, the second step is uh, we need to synchronize um, the Google Calendar to Alexa Calendar. This is how you do it. In your Alexa app, again, click uh, those three bars in the lower right corner, and then click Settings. And then scroll all the way to the bottom, you will see calendar. And then here you add your Gmail or Google Calendar account in here. And then once you've done that, um, then you will find that uh, your Google Calendar is now synchronized Alexa now. So this is how you synchronize uh, uh, cozy to Alexa. And what I find is it seems like the synchronization between Google and Alexa and that part is uh, immediately actually. It just from cozy to Google is uh, slower. So after you done this part, now you have all the three items in cozy to-do list, shopping list, and the calendar, everything synchronized to Alexa. 
and then you can actually see uh, everything on the uh, Echo Show display as I just show you. Uh, all right, thank you for watching my video. If you find my video helpful, please subscribe to my channel.